Okay, I'm testing the blander tongue modulator that I got from eBay. I'm having a problem. <laughs> um, I've got it on a dipole antenna. This is just set up temporary to test, but this little TV that I got here, it doesn't seem to want to lock in on the channel. Now, I, I it locked in once when I first started playing with this thing. But now it doesn't want to lock in. So uh, either there's something wrong with that television. There, there it locked in finally. But I'm thinking that the problem is with the modulator because uh, see what's happening. And you can hear that there's quite a hum in it. So I'm thinking that it's Probably not that TV. He went in bringing out all those kids that were still alive. Um, although, and, and you can see that the, the picture is kind of coming in and coming out. So I think there's a problem with the modulator. For one thing, the audio constantly reads a red light over. And even if I turn it all the way down. Um, when I first powered it up, the status light the green uh, power light status was kind of fluttering and you can hear that that hum in there so this is what I think might be wrong that modulator was probably sold new quite a few years ago to some hotel somewhere or, or something like it and it was probably running for 24 7 for a long 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 time and I would wager because if you hear that hum, I'm sorry, gentlemen. That sounds like electrolytics. So I'm thinking that every electrolytic that's in that modulator is going to have to be replaced. So that's going to be my first line of uh, trying to fix this thing: is to just go in and start changing out electrolytics uh, because. I don't think, see, as this thing is warming up now, it, it put out a, enough signal, a stable enough signal where the TV locked on. I don't think the TV's at fault. I think it's strictly the modulator. So that's as far as I've got with the, the Blander Tongue modulator. <laughs> we'll uh, uh, get more later when I uh, see if I can fix this thing. And again, I'm thinking that those those are real solid, hard, hard driving hum bars, and it's probably affecting this TV. I wish I had another portable television to test with, and I don't. I bought this little one from eBay because I wanted to be able to take it out into the yard and see how far this signal goes, and I did do that with it like this. And it doesn't go very far. <laughs> I can maybe get to the end of my driveway before it completely snows out. It also doesn't transmit throughout the house very well, so this modulator may, unless the new capacitor is going in it, fix it. Uh, this modulator may not uh, uh, be the, the best transmitter to transmit the TVs unless I've got all of the televisions in the same room with the antenna the transmitting antenna and again there's something wrong with the audio because I can't the audio portion of this I can't adjust that down to where that light goes out and if I can get the screwdriver in the slot <laughs> well best laid plans of men and mice if I can yeah I can't for some reason I can't seem to even get the screwdriver in the slot there it is there we go now that the audio went out I can't hear it on the TV but that that overlight is on all the time so I think a recap will fix this uh, modulator I'm hoping it will